Good afternoon and welcome to China. Yes, we've traveled far as you can see today. It's been a long way, but we made it. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited because we get to try out a new restaurant here in China and it's called? Nine Dragons. <laughs> so we've never been here before. Yes, the kids are with us. We're pretty excited to get in there. It's a hot day today, so it it's going to feel so good walking in there. But yeah, the menu looks great. It looks to be more on the affordably priced uh, yeah. sit-down restaurants here. So yeah, yeah. and I'm, something tells me this is going to be a little bit better than you know your typical Chinese delivery. Yes. Hopefully. That's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am looking forward to getting in there and checking it out. Me too. Join us at the table. So far, I love the ambiance in here. Yeah, very Music's cozy, nice. and quiet. It's a big dining area, and we're here early, so it's not too busy. It's all looking really good. You have your, your spring rolls, pot stickers, dumplings, crispy duck, bio buns. Those look really good. House hot and sour soup, side of vegetable egg fried rice. So for entrees, they have crispy duck fried rice, a Canton pepper beef, honey sesame chicken, spicy honey crispy chicken. Kung Pao Duo, which has chicken, shrimp with peanuts. A spicy Mala Happy Family, which has beef, chicken, shrimp, and vegetables. Salt and pepper shrimp with spiced spinach noodles. Kowloon spare ribs and vegetable and tofu stir fry. For desserts, they have a strawberry red bean ice cream. That sounds interesting. A caramel ginger ice cream and strawberry crepe cake. I'll try all three. <laughs> for the kids menu, they have honey chicken, sweet and sour shrimp. Kids Deluxe, as well as a dessert. Usually they have a kids menu that you color and they have all like separate choices for sides and stuff, but it's just a little different, but they all look good. And here are all the soft drinks that they have, as well as milks, hot chocolate, jasmine tea. Oh, they even have Perrier. And here are the non-alcoholic specialties. Ooh, strawberry and mango. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. <laughs> I have to say, mango lately has been my all-time favorite fruit. <laughs> we planted a mango tree at our house. We have one, one mango hanging off this, this tiny little tree, but we're so excited. because Can't wait for that one mango. <laughs> yeah, I hear that they're, they grow to be quite prolific, so. Yes. And then on the other side of the menu, you're going to have all your specialty cocktails and beers, as well as your wines. You have your white, rosé, red, sparkling as well as your sweet wines at the bottom here. So for appetizers, we have the vegetable spring rolls here. We have the chicken pot stickers and the crispy duck bao buns. Those look great. So dive in here. It's like really good. There you have it. Mm. Dig it in. Good job with the chopsticks, Carrie. Oh, thank you. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> almost. Oh, no. oh boy. Oh boy. It's have some sauce. Double dip. <laughs> Extra saucy. I told you it was almost. <laughs> it's really good, but I dunked mine in the sauce as you saw. <laughs> There's a little bit of kick, a little bit of heat in the sauce, but otherwise, that was totally my bad. You're only supposed to do a dip, not a dunk. Here we go, chicken pot sticker. Let's see if I can do it just a dip. <laughs> I moved a little quicker. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to give you lessons on the chopsticks. Amateur hour. Card. I'm not doing it right. <laughs> All right, so we're going we're to get a little chopstick lesson here. Oh, like a pen when you're writing? Like you're writing. Yeah. Got Yeah. Do I kind of have it? So you're using that. When you pick up something, I'm done. Like this. Not like this. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I see. You make it look way too yeah, easy. I'm gonna be looking. I'm gonna be looking at that footage later. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. All right, let's just carry after the lesson. <laughs> the chicken pot stickers are really good. There's a nice sweetness to it. The chicken's cooked really well. I like the dipping sauce. 
uh, I would definitely get this one again. The kids are enjoying them too. I thought the pot stickers are pretty good. Um, I would say they might they might be a little bit on the firmer side than what I what I prefer. Um, but I mean, I, I would say the flavors are really good. The sauce is delicious. So here are the bao buns. These are really cute. I always thought bao buns were sealed off. I think not some open are. Like this. Yeah, some of them are. These are really delicious. I wouldn't say it's like a crispy duck. That's what it says. With the duck, it's very tender. There's like a sweet poison sauce, I think. And I believe it's like a spring onion or something really light and um, caramelized tasting underneath that. And it just all goes really well together. The bao bun is really soft and pillowy and it's well done. I like this a lot. The bio bun was good. I'm typically not a fan of bio bun. Um, I thought this one might have been a little bit better than what I'm used to, especially because the, the hoisin sauce is like the, really, really made it extra good for me. Uh, and the fact that it was open, it was more like a, a pita wrap, but the hoisin sauce is really good. I have to agree with Carrie. It's definitely not like a crispy duck, but um, it's very tender and it's, it's good. I like it. In terms of my favorite, um, I would say the spring roll is number one, bio bun number two, pot stickers would be number three for me. What about you, Kara? So my favorite would be the bao bun, then the spring roll, and then the dumplings. So the bao, I would order that as like an entree. I, I really like that, that's tasty. Oh, look at the Mickey plates. Thank you. Here, Caleb. <laughs> Those are really Love cute. It. Caleb got, actually all three of them got the honey chicken, comes with fried rice and broccoli, as well as some carrots on the side. And this is a sweet Szechuan sauce, is that what it is? A sweet and sour sauce? I think it's sweet and sour, yeah. So for an entree, I order the Kang Pao Duo. It's chicken and shrimp with peanuts. This is $26. And this is a medium spice dish. And I ordered the crispy duck fried rice, which is $28. This is the crispy duck fried rice. Looks really good. I don't know if you'd help with that, Carrie. Uh, we'll see. Dig it in. Dive it in. Crispy duck fried rice is really good. The duck is cooked really nicely. Um, you get the crunchy part on the top there, the sauce. It's like a nice smoky flavor, and it's just a rich you know, piece of duck. It's really good. And the vegetable rice is really good with it. Um, I think you would like this. I know you're going to be trying some in a minute, but I would get this again for sure. I like it a lot. All right, here is my Kung Pao Duo. It was actually quite good. The chicken was, was nice and tender, cooked just right. Uh, the shrimp might have been a little overcooked, but it was still still pretty good. Uh, I loved the, the whole peanuts in there. It gave like a nice um, texture, nice crunch to the dish. Uh, the rice was was cooked just right. It was it's kind of what I expect when I come to a restaurant like this. I mean, you can't you got to do the rice right. That's important. Um, so the rice was definitely good. I thought maybe um, the sauce that they put on it was a little bit too salty. It's either coming from the sauce or from the, the meat, but I, I almost feel like they, they did like a dry rub on it. Um, and that might have been the, the salty part, but um, so yeah, maybe just a little bit too salty. But uh, I thought the, the spice was on the medium side, maybe like maybe a little hot medium, if that makes any sense. There's definitely maybe a little bit hotter than what a medium would normally be. Um, but yeah, I thought the dish was, was good. I would definitely get this one again, but Carrie, I think uh, next time I gotta try yours. That looks oh, delicious. You could try it right now. <laughs> All right, so that was, that was pretty good. Um, the service in there was outstanding. Our server was Linda. She said Linda, but her name tag said something else, but yeah. I think that was just her way of giving us an easy name to say. I don't know. Yeah. Our server was excellent. She was topping off everyone's drinks, filling our water bottles. She was super sweet and helpful. And she gave us a little lesson with the chopsticks when we asked, because we were really that serious. Was great. Yeah. But she was so nice. The atmosphere as far as the staff in there is top notch. Very, yeah. very Disney. It was. Very Disney. Price-wise, it might have been a little bit more money than what I expected. It was okay. like 166. I expected uh, a lot less than that. Okay. Because when I was looking at prices online, it was like you know, 15 to 35 was the price range. Okay. Which I guess would make sense for the entrees, but yeah. I, I, I guess I wasn't factoring in all the the we, appetizers, we ordered the beer. Three apps. Yeah. That's so kind that's of kind of what yeah. did it. And one of the apps, the bao buns were, were like 13 to 15 dollars. Yeah. So they were kind of on the pricey, pricey side for for an app. I, I didn't think it was anything special. 
No. You know, I, I maybe I expected a little bit more when I went in there, but. What about um, after you tried like the duck, the my dish? To, I mean, the duck was delicious. Yeah. I, I would. I think next time, I would definitely get that dish. Yeah. Mine I, was also good. Yeah. But, I I love fried rice, and I just wish the fried rice went along with the dish. It was white rice. Yeah, I could have substituted, I guess. Yeah, but probably. I didn't even know white rice came with it because it wasn't on the menu. Yeah. So the menus were a little bit vague. They didn't really include everything on there. Yeah. Um, but you can always but, ask. It doesn't hurt yeah, to ask. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought the atmosphere was was cozy in there, and it was nice and cool on a hot day today. Yes. It felt really good in there. So. Yeah. I'll definitely be back. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the dishes, like you said, they give you enough food where you don't necessarily need the apps, but we wanted to try yeah. them for the review, so. Yeah. But yeah, a wonderful atmosphere, top-notch service for sure. Like Definitely. That's, she was, she was she up was there, great. yeah. So anyway. All right, well, hopefully this was helpful in, you know, helping you guys plan your next vacation if you need any help. Once again, I am a travel planner and I would love to help you guys out. It's castlecrewvacations.com, you can reach me that way. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, that helps us out as well. Yes, it does. And hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for joining us. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. So I think I found the nine, dra nine dragons over here, coming down the slope on the edge of the roof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that one there towards the top, nine.